Dive into the past thousands of years ago as we explore the cradle of Western civilization. Let's journey back in time to when Europe was home to some of the world's oldest civilizations. Our odyssey begins around 2,700 years before Christ on the island of Crete, where the ancient Minoans established one of the earliest European civilizations. This Bronze Age society was known for its monumental architecture, intricate frescoes, and a complex system of writing, which remains a fascinating enigma for modern scholars. Fast forward a few centuries to around 1600 BC, and we find ourselves in the heart of Greece, the birthplace of the Mycenaean civilization. Inspired by the Minoans, the Mycenaeans developed a rich culture, leaving behind an array of palaces, tombs and golden treasures. They also played a pivotal role in the epic tales of Homer, making them an integral part of Greek mythology and literature. As the Mycenaean civilization faded into the shadows of history, another power was rising in the West. In 753 BC, the city of Rome was founded. From a small settlement on the banks of the Tiber River, Rome grew into a vast empire that would have a profound and lasting influence on Europe's culture, language, and governance. The Roman Empire with its innovative architecture, advanced engineering, and complex legal systems set the standard for the civilizations that followed. Its network of roads and sea routes facilitated trade, while its military might spread Roman culture far and wide. Roman law laid the groundwork for modern legal systems, and Latin, the language of Rome, evolved into the Romance languages we know today. As Rome's power grew, so did its reach, setting the stage for a new era of conquests and cultural exchange. But the story of Europe doesn't stop here, as the rise of Rome was just the beginning of a rich and complex history that continues to shape the world we live in today. With the fall of Rome in 476 AD, Europe descends into a period shrouded in mystery and intrigue, known as the Dark Ages. This era, characterized by the dissolution of the Western Roman Empire, was not as dark as it is often portrayed. In fact, the period saw significant cultural and societal transformations. During this time, Europe experienced a major population shift known as the Migration Period. The Germanic tribes including the Goths, Vandals and Lombards moved westwards, establishing their own kingdoms on the ruins of the Western Roman Empire. These new kingdoms though lacking the grandeur of Rome, laid the foundations for the nations we see in Europe today. Paralleling these political changes was the rise of a spiritual power that would shape Europe for centuries to come, Christianity. The fall of Rome provided Christianity with the opportunity to emerge as a dominant religion. The church not only offered spiritual guidance but also became a key player in the political sphere. As the Dark Ages gave way to the Middle Ages Europe witnessed a series of monumental events. The Crusades, a series of holy wars were launched by the Christian kingdoms against the Muslim territories, profoundly influencing the cultural and political landscape of Europe and the Middle East. The Middle Ages were also marked by a devastating pandemic, the Black Death, which wiped out a third of Europe's population. Despite the tragedy, the pandemic led to significant societal changes, including a shift in economic power from the nobility to the common folk. Towards the end of the Middle Ages the emergence of nation-states such as England, France and Spain marked a shift from feudalism to centralized power. This paved the way for the rise of modern Europe with its distinct national identities and political structures. As the Middle Ages drew to a close, Europe was poised on the edge of a period of unprecedented change and discovery. In the 14th century, Europe awakens from its medieval slumber, ushering in an era of rebirth and exploration. This period, known as the Renaissance, was a time of cultural awakening. It witnessed a revival of art, science and thought, which was a stark contrast to the preceding Middle Ages. A cornerstone of the Renaissance was the rediscovery of classical Greek and Roman knowledge. This sparked a profound shift in artistic expression and intellectual exploration. Figures like Leonardo da Vinci emerged, blending art and science to create masterpieces such as the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. He was a true renaissance man, excelling in multiple disciplines and embodying the spirit of the era. Science also experienced a seismic shift with thinkers like Galileo Galilei challenging the established norms. Galileo, using his improved telescope, confirmed the heliocentric theory, forever changing our perception of the universe. As the renaissance was flourishing, Europe was also embarking on an age of discovery. The quest for new trade routes led to uncharted territories, 
with Christopher Columbus's voyage in 1492 being a milestone. His discovery of the Americas opened a new chapter in human history, paving the way for the colonization of these new worlds. Another significant explorer, Ferdinand Magellan, embarked on an expedition that would result in the first circumnavigation of the globe. His voyage demonstrated the true scale of our planet, and further ignited the European thirst for exploration. The age of discovery led to the establishment of global trade routes, bringing wealth and power to Europe. However, it also marked the beginning of a dark period of colonization and exploitation for indigenous populations. The Renaissance and the Age of Discovery were twin engines driving Europe out of the Middle Ages and into the modern world. They not only broadened Europe's intellectual and geographical horizons, but also laid the groundwork for the conflicts and power dynamics of the subsequent centuries. The Age of Discovery not only expanded Europe's horizons, but also set the stage for the conflicts of the coming centuries. From the sparks of revolution to the devastation of world wars, the modern era forever changed the face of Europe. The late 18th century saw Europe on the brink of transformation, with the French Revolution setting the stage. This monumental event, inspired by the Enlightenment ideals of liberty, equality and fraternity, reshaped the political landscape, leading to the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte and laying the groundwork for modern politics. The Industrial Revolution soon followed, bringing about a seismic shift in the economic and social fabric of the continent. Born in Britain, this revolution spread across Europe, replacing agrarian and handicraft economies with industry and machine manufacturing. With it came profound changes in every aspect of daily life, from work to transportation, from nutrition to housing. Meanwhile, nationalist sentiments began to rise, fueling the unification of Italy and Germany in the mid-19th century. These powerful new nations would significantly alter the balance of power in Europe, setting the stage for a tumultuous 20th century. The 20th century dawned with Europe at the heart of global conflict, with the First World War laying waste to much of the continent. A mere two decades later the Second World War would bring even greater destruction, forever altering the political, cultural and physical landscape of Europe. In the aftermath of these cataclysms, the Cold War emerged, dividing the continent into East and West. This ideological battleground pitted democracy against communism, with the Iron Curtain serving as a stark symbol of Europe's division. Yet amidst this strife the seeds of unity began to sprout. The formation of the European Union in the late 20th century marked a significant shift towards cooperation and integration. This unprecedented union sought to ensure peace and stability, fostering economic growth and championing human rights. In the ashes of conflict, Europe sought unity, forging a new path in the global landscape. In the 21st century, Europe continues to play a pivotal role on the world stage. Challenges and triumphs alike have shaped the continent, reflecting its unwavering resilience and adaptability. In recent years, the Eurozone crisis tested the strength of the European Union's economic unity. Countries grappling with debt crises such as Greece and Italy sparked concern and debate over the future of the Eurozone. Yet Europe has shown remarkable resilience working collectively to navigate the turbulent economic waters. Then came Brexit, a landmark event that saw the United Kingdom make its exit from the European Union. This unprecedented move stirred up a whirlwind of political and economic uncertainty, and yet, Europe remains undeterred, its commitment to unity and cooperation unshaken. Europe has also faced the challenge of a significant refugee crisis, with countless individuals seeking asylum within its borders. The continent's response has showcased its deep-rooted values of humanitarianism and compassion, even as it grapples with the complexities of this issue. But Europe's story isn't just about overcoming challenges. The continent continues to make significant contributions to the realms of science, culture and diplomacy, influencing global trends and shaping our collective future. Looking ahead, Europe is poised to tackle numerous future challenges and opportunities. Climate change stands at the forefront of these, with Europe leading the charge in the fight against global warming through ambitious environmental policies. Then, there's digital innovation. Europe is at the cutting edge of technological advancements, driving progress in fields like artificial intelligence, robotics, and cybersecurity. These advancements are not only transforming European societies, but also placing the continent at the heart of the global digital revolution. Geopolitical shifts also present both challenges and opportunities. As the world order evolves, Europe's role as a mediator and peacekeeper continues to be of paramount importance. 
As we look to the future, Europe's rich history serves as a reminder of its resilience and its enduring influence on the world.